Hey everyone, welcome back. Just got a quick video for you today, nothing data science related, but it is something that helps me on a daily basis in terms of getting rid of all these spammy messages that somehow find their way into my Gmail inbox. So these days you'll give your email address out to somebody, you never know who they're giving your email address out to and on and on. And the result is that you'll have all of these annoying messages in your Gmail. And one option is of course, go through one by one and unsubscribe from all of them. but this is a script that's going to do that automatically for you. So this video is pretty straightforward. One prerequisite is to watch my very quick five minute video on sending Gmail messages in Python. Of course, I'll link that video in the description below, but you only really need to follow the beginning part of that video where we set up an application in Google Cloud Console for Gmail. And then from there, we can start following these cells. So the first ones are just inputs. We go ahead and register the Chrome web browser. So for this video, I'll be opening up all these unsubscribe links in this Chrome window here, but you can probably switch this out with other browsers with small modifications here and there. Now the scopes are that we only want to give this application read only access, only allowed to read your Gmail messages, no need to give it more permissions than we need to. And this is the main function for getting an authenticated Gmail service. This is the exact same function you'll find in that other video I was referencing. It looks complicated, but all it's doing is checking for a file in your local directory called token.json. If there's no such file, it's going to walk you through some steps to create that file. Now, the easiest way to think about token.json is that it's a saved set of credentials on your local machine that basically says, hey, I am allowed and authorized to read the Gmail messages from my own account using this Python application. So that's all that's doing. We go ahead and get the service in this line here. And then this is one of the key lines which is going to get all the messages so that we can filter through them and actually open up the unsubscribe links in the browser. So we're going to call the service.users.messages.list API. So that's going to list all of our Gmail messages. The first argument says that I indeed only want to get my own Gmail messages. So user is me. And the second line, the query says the filters I would like to apply to the messages that I'm getting here. And we're applying three filters today. The word unsubscribe should be in the body of the message somewhere so that we're not just getting all of our Gmail messages. The category of this email should be promotions. So in my experience, most of these spammy messages do get correctly filtered by Gmail into the promotions category. And they should be newer than 90 days. So you can change this to a longer or shorter time frame based on how many different messages you're trying to unsubscribe from, what time frame you're looking for. Let me go ahead and call execute. And so the result is stored in this result variable. And now this is the last cell here where we just sort through, we uh, for loop through all of these messages we got back. So I've commented as well as I can. This first variable just says how many links we've opened. So we limit it to three at a time. So we're not spamming our browser with a ton of tabs all at once. Scene URLs is just a set. So we're not opening up the same unsubscribe link over and over in case you've been getting a daily message from some really annoying business. And then we for loop through each message. We get the message ID, we get the message information. So in the message info variable, we're hopefully going to find the actual link that's going to let us unsubscribe. And this next chunk of code here, no need to go too deep into it, but basically what we're trying to do is we're searching for the actual URL that we can open up in our browser, which is going to let us unsubscribe super easily. And so this is basically saying we can open a maximum of, this should be three at a time so we don't spam the browser. So if three links have been opened, then we go ahead and give the user the ability to open three more or just stop where they're at. These three links have been opened up in our browser and each of these is the unsubscribe ones. Now I can simply just go and say, I no longer wish to receive any future publications. Boom, unsubscribe from that one. You can go to the next one and say, oh, this is for Coinbase. Uh, pick some reason for why I don't like this. Go ahead and unsubscribe from that one. This one's from some local Congress person and it says I have unsubscribed. So I'm also good to go there. So we can type yes if we want the next three or we can just type no if we're finished. And that's it. That is a basic unsubscribe bot that you can write very quickly in just a couple lines of code in Python. Hopefully this helps you with managing those spammy messages. If it does, please like and subscribe for more videos just like this and I will see you next time.